Hello and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying Symphony of War. Uh, I want to thank uh, Dancing Dragon Games very much for giving me a key for this game. And uh, this is this has been one I've been really looking forward to trying. And it uh, it's already it's already calling my name. So why don't we jump right into it? We will be doing the tutorial, and I will be doing a bit of editing to make sure that I cut out some of the fat. And we'll we'll just talk about the gameplay. Enable permadeath. Non-story characters incapacitated at the end of a mission are lost forever. All right, enemies are well balanced. Great starting point for most players. Okay, we'll begin the game with permadeath and tutorials and normal mode. There you are, child of destiny. You've arrived at a very opportune time, you will find. Let me look into your heart. Who are you? Will your journey be marked by virtue, or will this land's people remember you as an, ad an adversary? You are blessed with a child. If you could choose their fate, what would it be? Famous musician, a great general, a devout follower of the faith. Let's say a famous musician. You must give up your most valuable possession. What is it? Your vast wealth, your battle prowess, your faith. Uh, let's say my wealth. A desperate beggar corners you, demanding money. What do you do? Talk your way out of the situation. Offer him a warm meal at the local pub. Yeah, let's go for that. As a potential ruler in difficult times, what are your your most effective tools? Um, fear. <laughs> let's say your kind heart. What is the most important trait a leader should have? The ability to bring people together. Yeah. Which form suits you? Uh, let's go for the standard name. I don't know if this is the normal name or if this is a, a randomly generated one. So you have chosen Devoa. Yes. Thank you. What an intriguing soul. Go and I will see you here again when the time is right. We've come a long way since the academy, but now we face the real thing. Come Devoa, let's brush up a bit. Time to learn mechanics. It is like a game of chess. You will command groups of soldiers known as squads, and each squad will have a leader. You appear as blue, and the enemy team appears as red. Time to engage in combat. First, you must move your squad next to me. Select your squad, then select the tile next to my squad on the map to move. All right. So, from what I understand about this game, the novelty is that you control. Um, it's it's you've got like a kind of a advanced wars macro game, and then you have a kind of RPG micro game where your squad, made up of command like soldiers and commanders that you've kind of handpicked, will do their thing, and uh, you'll have some like interesting kind of RPG tactics going on as well. Not bad. Now let's raise the stakes. You're now leading a squad with a good balance of troop types. You've got heavily armored troops in front of, uh, in front or heavy infantry. Always rely on heavy infantry to serve as the backbone of your army, not only to protect weaker allies, but to rush down and attack. Your squad also has three archers. These long-range troops are not as sturdy, but can attack from a distance, avoiding counterattack. Your turn is up for now. Access the menu and end turn to proceed. So it might be that this this is just auto attack for now. It's possible that a lot of the strategy is in how you arrange your army. So like every character basically is an army that you've arranged. So I do really appreciate the classic look of this game. We can see our rank. I'm, I'm honestly looking forward to seeing what kind of progress we've got. So we'll we'll go ahead and attack our, our the Brom lads here. I wonder if it be can we attack with multiple units at once? We'll find out later. So we're gonna take a little bit of damage, not too much though. Oh, and we have a healer, so we got our health back from that. They got a bit of experience. And then we're gonna move Zelos. Enemy phase. Oh no. So they get to attack, they get to do their thing. We get to counter attack though and get healed up. Nice. We, we've we almost leveled up. We took some damage in that fighting, but we can heal it back by having support units such as the medic in your squad. While they cannot attack, support units help greatly to keep soldier losses to a minimum. 
Next, we need to capture that town so we can liberate it from the rebels. Move any squad to the town's front gate and seize. For Viridia. All right, we'll seize with Zelos. Objective captured, leveled up, 15 faction experience. Good, we liberated a town and got some gold and faction XP for our trouble. We'll need gold for a lot of things, recruiting new troops, hiring mercenaries, buying artifacts, among other things. All right, so we move the archers on the hill and then we can attack from ranged. Okay, cool. But those are also archers, but we have the high ground, so we should have the advantage. I love these animations. They're actually really slick. So then we can move in and attack the now weakened archers. They don't have a soldier anymore, so we should just like to totally wipe them out. Oof. Un unreasonable. There's also morale going on. Uh, what's the exclamation points going on? Uh, who could say? Can we- we can heal ourselves? Remaining healers, one. Okay. Can we do that each turn, or just the once, I wonder? If we can take that river fortress, the path to the main enemy base will be clear. Forts give defense bonuses and allow archers to shoot farther. And that goes for both sides, so we can't underestimate those defenders. Okay. So we're going to want to take these hills one at a time, maybe. Um, I suppose we can check out this hill over here and then attack. Oh, we can't attack from there? Stay strong, everyone. How come... Uh, I guess we don't have the range there to speak of. Can we attack closer? So if I went here, I wonder. Can I, I can attack from there. Okay. I wonder if this is worth doing. Like, they shouldn't be able to attack back, right? So we can weaken them a little bit, and then uh, do a, like an actual attack. It's all about increasing your odds, giving yourself the best advantage you can. You know, I, I love these little tactics games that, you know, a la the kind of advanced wars. They've, they've always been interesting to me. I like the idea of like managing squads instead of just like a character. Um, and like maybe having a bit of control over how those squads are put together. Especially if like every character in those squads is a person who can level up, also die. Like there's a lot of micro significance going on there. See that town? To win wars, we must secure objectives. Objectives can be towns, mines, stables, or military bases. Towns like this or gold mines provide gold. Any of our squads can capture objectives. That's East Wall Fortress, home base of the enemy. That's a heavily fortified castle like most home bases. It provides defensive bonuses to soldiers stationed there. Do not underestimate any base defender, even these clowns. There will be times when we are operating out of a home base. When that happens, you must defend it at all costs. If an enemy reaches our home base, it will force us to de into a defeat. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this objective. Uh, I guess... Yeah, we'll seize it. We need to do a bit of healing at some point soon. We've secured an iron mine. With the three iron we just gained, we can upgrade our troops to more advanced classes when between chapters. They're not going to attack us either. So we can get these guys up on the hill and then start taking pot shots. Oh, wow. Nice. They can attack back. Oh, they killed one of our dudes. These guys were way more hurt than I thought. So we're going to take a moment to heal them. Yeah. Devoa, what an honor to fight by your side in our first mission, but Central Command didn't say you'd be here. Was there some sort of mistake? We, uh, we decided to improvise. Anyway, glad to have your rangers are here among us. <laughs> Oh, they won the morale bonus. What? Oh, they have rangers as well. Oh, okay. I did. I did this badly. I did this badly. So we're gonna lose. We didn't lose a unit. Fortunately, we just lost a bunch of like units in that unit. So um, I don't know. What do we do in this situation? I think we're gonna want to move them off. We'll, um, we'll just do an attack. I don't know if we can, like, optimize this somehow. 
I'm not sure what the rock, paper, scissors of, of this is is yet. Like, um, you know, what, what which units are better against which units and, and how it works. And if we have an advantage from fighting from the fort. This one for sure. Let's take the bridge and we'll attack the next group as well. Jules is like, really, really took a lot for the team. We do want to take that town over there as well. Okay, let's seize this. Objective captured. We got a bunch of gold, some faction XP. We're not, we haven't quite uh, ranked up yet. Can we attack from here? Yes, we can. Actually, let's let's attack from uh, here on the off chance that Devoa can reach on the next turn. Oh, that's all they got. Okay. So let's uh, let's see what we can do. Maybe we can finish them off in this turn. Yep. There it is. Nice. Faction rank up. 30 faction experience. Chapter complete. Turns taken 13 of 11. So would we have gotten some extra stuff? Key squads need uh, neutralized for four. So we get uh, rank A, I see. So maybe I would have done better if I'd kept one of my units alive. So we did get a bit of iron to use on our, our army. Let's see what the tech tree requires. Expands the mercenary and item traders pool, giving us more opportunities to hire experienced warriors and purchase exotic artifacts. Kind of this game just very minorly reminds me of Plubby Quest and, and how it kind of arranges its like tech trees, its macro games and its micro games. Um, so there's a lot of stuff here. All, all new construct scripts start at plus one level and with half class mastery of their starting class. Improved steel plate armor grants our heavy infantry and heavy cavalry plus five armor. So there's the tech tree. Oh, we could look at the marketplace. We could maybe recruit some more people. Since I lost a troop, uh, it might be worth doing that. But this is a different resource that we're using. Oh, we could get a cavalry. Can ambush and is strong against enemy cavalry. Yeah, I think I, I think I would like that. And why not? We'll also buy the other heavy infantry. So these are all these are all characters. We're buying characters that we can then make up a squad of. So I kind of want to just like buy them all. Uh, but these these four. So there's two unique ones that are special, and then there's four kind of common ones. So we're just buying like the class basically, and then uh, they get replaced by another random person. Um, so let's look at the trader scouts gear. Offers a little bit of uh, protection maybe. Iron used to unlock a huge amount of classes required for all heavy infantry and heavy cavalry, as well as many high end light infantry and cavalry archery and firearms units. Wow, there's a lot here. Supports. Relationships, characters we haven't met yet. We can see relationships between major characters. So let's, okay, let's organize our army. Squad operations. Jules seems to have a squad again. I'm not sure how that happened. Form new squad. Let's uh, form a squad out of the one we just uh, created with our cavalry. Form a new squad with this unit as leader, form squad. So I'm not sure we could have him in the front move unit. Okay, so that's how you move. It's a little bit confusing, but that's okay. Um, so, all right, we're good with moving. We could add some units. We want to add uh, these guys in the front. And then this is a, I don't know, maybe we should put the cavalry in the back. So we'll move. I don't, that doesn't really make any sense, does it? So instead of have adding our, our other melee character, and I assume they are a melee character, it might be better to buy some archeries, some archers. March, marketplace, recruit. So we'll buy this person. This person, and these are these seem to be always bowmen, which is useful. And then uh, we'll add in a couple of 
Um, magicians, I guess. I don't know if they're maybe clerics or something. Paladins. So then, then um, let's go ahead and reorder squad this one. Now, what I want to do is squad operations. All right, there you go. Add unit. So we're going to add their add our bowmen. Can we not add bowmen? Capacity ten. I wonder if this is where we we don't have the ability to add more units to this. Threat. So maybe we have a threat capacity. Oh, capacity 30 of 37. So could we add... Um, no, we can't add them. Hmm, interesting. Right. These are capacity 10 each. So we can only add basically something with capacity 7. So what we could do is we could remove one of these guys. So now we're at capacity 20. And then we'll add... Um, a cleric so that's a that's kind of the best we can do I mean this isn't bad but you know maybe could be better the cavalry takes an extra chunk of capacity so that's why we we are limited a little bit um, change class we could do something like that so there's a, tons of oh I see so yeah this is this is where uh, resources come in handy Oh, I see. They, it's the strength. They need more strength. So they have to level up a bit more before we can decide if we want to change their class. All right, that makes sense. Game also kind of reminds me of um, Disgaea. It's got a little bit of Disgaea in it, and, and I mean that as a compliment. Can we change these guys? They, they, can, they can go into it. a bunch of stuff. They, they're just barely missing the strength for turning into a soldier, but they could turn into a spearman. Pole arms are strong against cavalry. We need a horse if we want to turn them into a cavalier. Um, yeah, so we don't, we don't really have, we can turn them into an archer, but I don't think that would necessarily be a benefit. So we'll keep things as is for now. So I think what we want to do is we're going to want to take some, uh, at least like buy some tech pro improve, improved. Still plate armor grants our heavy infantry and heavy cavalry plus five armor. I don't know if we have, I think we probably do have some heavy, <clears throat> but not a lot. Grants heavy infantry and heavy cavalry plus 25 max HP. Can now construct crossbows, unlocking the crossbowman class. Unlocks a second artifact slot, allowing us to further customize our squads. We don't really have any artifacts yet. All new conscripts start at plus one level with half class mastery of the. Well, we probably should have done this if I, since I just bought some stuff, some units. So that was a maybe a misplay. Each unit gains plus three weapon power for each unit of a different type added to the squad, starting with the second unit type. This uh, seems like it could be good. Let's take this since we do have pretty varied. Uh, units or, or squads it is now easier for cavalry squads to achieve a charge attack instead of requiring having moved seven tiles before attacking now they can move six tiles to achieve the same effect non-leader units and squads now gain LDR at a modest rate up to below 10 of I don't know what this means but I'm gonna take it because it builds into other things so we're we're good for tech so we're gonna do one more mission and then maybe we can call it here. This definitely is, this game is a 100% a good candidate for a series in the future. For whose sake? Oh, deploy limit four of six. Okay, there we go. So we can put in our new unit there. There we go. Begin mission. Yes. Well, this guy's got spearmen, which are specifically good against cavalry, so we maybe want don't want to do that. So let's move jewels and then... Uh, no, never mind. Hmm. You know what? Let's just hit him with the big guns. Big guns right away. Why not? Oh, he had a, did a big old attack there. 
I might have wanted to buy some more small units and add them to our other squads if they had the capacity. So we should be able to take them off with the Devios. Sorry, De Devoa. I don't know why I keep calling him Devoas or <laughs> Devos. Alright, that's that's that. Leadership up. It's too bad that we can't do something with our cavalry. Although the cavalry, since they have such crazy movement, might be able to ac uh, accomplish some of the, the goals pretty quickly. I'm not sure what shuffle means. So we can... Oh, I see. You can you can swap around with other units. Interesting. Oh, we have uh, competing armies now. Ugh. Brutal. Okay, we've already lost an archer. That's that is a hundred percent not okay. So we're gonna want to heal them. Devoa, the battlefield has a, a lot of woods and forests. Woods uh, being rough terrain slows down movement a bit, but offers some protection against low range arrow fire. Okay, good to know. We should move. We should have moved this guy on the hill, and then he would have had a better chance to attack. We'll attack from the hill now, since since we're, we'll only have the advantage. And um, I'm going to take a turn to heal what's left of the archery units, because man, that's that is rough. Let's, uh, I think we should be able to clean up with this group. Can't believe that guy's alive, honestly. Level up. We want to improve their morale overall, and I think that one of the reasons that Jules keeps, like, not doing well is because I, I flubbed the morale. Um, let's... Let's go in with the cavalry. Oh no, this is this guy's spearman. I keep wanting to attack uh, spearmen with my cavalry. This guy has a spearman as well. This guy doesn't. So let's let's charge in there in that direction, and we'll fight this guy with uh, Devoa. It's a shame we couldn't have killed that one dude, because now he has his health back. Oh, I keep not killing anyone, and, and that's going to make it really difficult. All right, so this could get really rough. Fortunately, this, like, other party is kind of clashing with this other dude, and they're, they're hurting each other. I, I might be able to clean up afterwards. Oof, this guy is so close to death. Yes, get get a little bit of health. Nice. Retreat? Yeah, surrender. Nice. So, that's, all, that's pretty good. And these guys should be able to heal themselves since they already have a healer class. This guy is almost doomed. But that, the, uh, the, this, this guy holding the fort there is, is almost wiped out as well. So... My so I'm, j I'm gonna let them clash and I'm just gonna take a moment to heal myself and we'll move um, definitely we want to like go and get some of the other objectives so we're gonna move in move to the hills hopefully they have an advantage there a little bit can I not move over the bridge I, it won't let me move over the bridge with the cavalry. I didn't know that that was a thing. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Let's um, enemy move. That tells us a lot of stuff. Squad list. All right, let's uh, let's take these mines then. We'll get a bit of um, 
resources to spend on our our squads in the, ne the next chapter. All right, this guy's wiped out. So now's our, our opportunity to strike. Devoa, what's the world coming to with you saving my hide now? It's the least I can do, Barnabas. I owe you the world. Bah, everything you got, you got throw through your own sweat and grit. Uh, wasn't my doing. Who is this person? Where are they? It's an honor to fight by your side after all these years. Can't wait to show you what I've learned. Who is this and where are they? Let's plan our approach to Centurion's Rest. If we go to the right, looks like we're facing two squads of cavalry. Cavalry are fast and powerful warriors, but fall easily to spears. They're guarding a stables that we can take as a source of war horses for ourselves. Look out for those walls. Those archers on top of the walls are protected from close range attacks. Their arrows will be much stronger. If we can break through and go up those ramps, we might be able to take those guys out. I can try and shoot at them from the ground level, but I'll be at a disadvantage. Poor Jules is always at a disadvantage. Or we can go left a more direct route. They've got one fort there guarded by a pretty tough squad. Taking that fort won't be easy. The Voa the left route is connected by roads. The left terrain allows all units a high degree of movement range. Why not both? More objectives to capture, more reward. Yeah, why not both? So is this, is this Barnabas that we were just talking to? Who's our, who's got our, who's our spearman? Is it uh, Devoa? No. <clears throat> who's got our spearman? Nobody? Oh, uh, Sybil. Okay. So let's, let's hit this cavalry with Sybil. Nice. Oh, not not quite though. Oh, excellent. Yeah, the, the the spearmen are really good against the archers. We got a lot of levels from that. So can we move across the bridge yet? I think so. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll, we'll hit this guy. I think only our archers are going to be able to hit. Which is fine. They'll, they'll weaken them a little bit. I should be able to hit them with this archer as well. Nope, never mind. Those hills are all slightly uh, inconveniently positioned. Can we heal our archer? Yes, we can. Let's do that. This guy should be doomed, and he is. Leadership up. Excellent. This one unit made up of spearmen should be able to take out, like, everything on the right side of the map. Since they are, uh, working at an extreme advantage. So you can split up your units pretty effectively. Oh, this, this is not good. Jules is always taking just the worst damage. Yeah, Jules is done. I'm amazed that that happened like that, but, you know, whatever. So we have new, new rogue uh, enemies. Oof. Okay, that's not good. We just lost our cavalry. Yeah, that was, that was like, highly un unideal. See that Denari Temple, Devoa? If our troops have fallen in battle, they can be revived there for free. For a fee, sorry. <laughs> Not for free. <laughs> the enemy can do the same, so it's best we take those temples no matter what. Interesting. Okay. So, um, I don't know what the best way to go about this is. We have to take these guys out. I'm not sure how to improve our morale yet. I have to assume it's just doing well in battle. Ooh, 
We were the winner here, so they get a morale bonus. So I should be able to increase our morale even more if I, like... Wow, this, there's just the one dude left and he has one health. Brutal. Does that mean I get a morale bonus? I have to assume I do. Um, I wonder if, how we're going to do against this. This doesn't seem like... Did, everyone's dead except the healer. But I still get the movement bonus, so I can just have them run away. Here comes Sybil, ready or not. Let's take out the rest of this cavalry. Nice, we even get kind of a free heal because we didn't take any damage. Alright. Well, this was not great, but it's it's not terrible. We've lost two units, basically. Oh. Yeah, we've lost two units actually now. Let's just uh, take out some of these objectives. Get that gem mine as well. Can we, should we heal? Yeah, we should heal. So can we move this guy? We can, I wonder if we should take out this unit. I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh, I mean, that seemed like a pretty good idea, actually. We'll have a move back. Um, okay, let's, let's move this guy up. Although, this guy's got a range bonus, so we'll have to keep to the forest do we need to heal no okay so you know it's it's it could be going better but it's not awful right now i'm a little bit worried about this dude over here we're gonna have to take a turn to get this gem mine can he reach no he can't so we'll just move him over here we had many opportunities uh, and hills to take advantage of for our archers and, and took none of them, basically. So we're going to get all this stuff over here. I don't know if it's worth, like, you know, pushing with our other unit here. That leaves this place completely unguarded, but I, as long as I make sure no one gets past us, then that shouldn't matter too much. Oh, so he was just just exactly close enough that um, they were able to get the the range. That's fine. They didn't do too much damage. So we're gonna just do a range attack ourselves. Although I don't know if that's maybe the greatest idea. Yeah, I don't know. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, like we we only lost there. That was that was only a loss. So I think it's maybe a better idea to just like go in guns blazing. This is a really vicious group though. Well, we killed we killed someone. Archer is a problem. I'm more worried about the uh, clerics. This is going much better though. We've actually managed to kill a couple of groups. We just need to take a moment to heal them, and then we should be okay. So let's take these two uh, things over here. Take this uh, over here as well. We'll also take this so we can resurrect one of our units. And that'll do it. Unfortunately, we're going to take some uh, uh, range hit, but we should be okay. I think we'll be okay. I guess we were close enough. We don't take a range hit. We take an actual hit. We almost killed their front line, dude. Their last heavy inf. Oh, wow. Yeah, hit the hit the bowman in the back. Why not? No one died, and that's the important part. So maybe it'd be worth swapping these guys around. Let's swap them around. And, um... So that, like, these guys can get a chance, first of all, and also... Because they have more health, 
so they have uh, a better chance of doing this without dying. All right, so um, we're good over here. We 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 do want to take this um, temple over here though. So how much I wonder does it cost to uh, get one of our units back? Powers. I don't know. We have powers maybe later on in the game. Once we get some cool gods to, to help us. I did notice in the uh, in the trailer there are like characters that are like three times the size of some of our little little units, so you can maybe have like gods working for you. Alright, let's just run in here and take this guy out. We should have a complete like total advantage here. Yep. Nice. So now what can we do here? Uh, I thought that we could use this temple. Doesn't seem to be the case. Denari temple. I don't know. It doesn't seem to want to let me. So we are a little bit banged up, but we should be able to take on this last group. I don't know. They have they have some new units that I haven't seen before. So what do they have? They've got archers and uh, spearmen. So we don't want to hit them with the cavalry. And then we have this spearman uh, samurai. I mean, they, they basically look like a spearman again. So we want to go in with like Devoa probably. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, we should heal him. Um, do we have any more heal with anyone else? No. Okay, so we don't have any more heal, so we'll just go in with what we've got. Yo, get get that heal. Ooh, ouch. Okay. So that uh, that unit is actually done now. Hero has fallen. Oh no. Restart mission, redo turn. How about that? Yeah. <clears throat> I know they have cal uh, they have oh morale fearless. Well, interesting. I don't know if uh, if if this character dies, if that's gonna basically just mean the same defeat. And they are probably not gonna do well since they are horsemen up against ca uh, cavalry up against spearmen. They are doing pretty well though. That might be because of the morale bonus though. So honestly, the fact that I lost no one is kind of amazing. And I can even move him out now. So I could actually move in Devoa and like attack them with what I've got left. This could this could be it. This could be good. Much better at least. Oh, nice. So that's that was that was it. That was much better. I appreciate that the game lets you just like retry the last turn. You don't have to redo the whole mission, because that would be seriously tedious. That has been the trend in the past for games like this. This thing, we got pretty much everything that this map had to offer for us. They've reached Centurion's Rest, the fall back to keep the keep and prepare our final defenses. Donar, save us. Nice. It's it again took me more turns than maybe I wanted to. Complete the chapter within ten turns. We didn't get that. We didn't get the extra stars for that. There's nice little extra rewards. I kind of wouldn't mind knowing what those rewards were. I don't know if maybe there's a way of finding that out. I would be incentivized to try and do that. But then again, I mean, like, would I, not, you know, take less turns and forego things like uh, gem mines and iron mines and stuff like that? I don't know. Anyway, that's going to do it for Symphony of War. I I really like this game. I think it's really cool. I, I like the, uh, the kind of, like, very small kind of minutia of the of strategy of like controlling and and building small squads um it's it is kind of novel i mean like it's everything here is stuff we've seen before in other games but it's done in a really well it, it, it's done in a really good way it's got a lot of polish and it's executed like excellently i am actually pretty interested in the story i'd like to see how it develops i'm sure that uh, at a certain point we're going to find out that our kingdom is not all that's cracked up to be and maybe even join the rebellion. That's always kind of how it goes, isn't it? I'd like to see uh, how this develops and how to make use of like extra classes, like maybe swap some of the classes on our units. 
But yeah, Symphony of War, this one's really good. It's got a lot of depth, like a ton of depth that you could definitely take advantage of, sink your teeth into. Um, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.